Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm gonna quickly share with you guys um, my hair care um, products. So I am pretty low maintenance with my hair. I try to do very little to my hair. In my case, less is more. Before I get into the products, I just wanna emphasize that this is not a one size fits all. What works for me may not work for you. So of course, watch this video and use whatever you learn from it with discretion. I feel like I kind of have to always say that so that everyone knows that what works for person A won't automatically uh, work for person B. You know, different lifestyles, different things we eat that may affect our growth, our hair. Um, and of course, hair textures are very different. There's a lot to think about, so many factors to consider uh, before following what a person tells you on YouTube. Always do things with discretion. All right, so I'm going to share real quick um, all the products I use. I have very few products that I use on my hair. Like I said, less is more. So I'm able to get the most out of my hair um, when I have very few products in it. Now, um, the way I care for my hair now is different from the way I did care for my hair when I had it uh, in an afro. So, of course, because there were individual strands, I kind of have to like make sure there was um, more care given to the ends of my hair, the strands, the roots, and stuff like that. But now that I have my hair in locks, I do not have to worry about all the 10, 20 steps that comes with, you know, <laughs> having to maintain your natural hair. So I'm going to just um, share with you, of course, the main products that I use. So I started using this, um, this trio in, um, I, I started, I think earlier this year or late last year, I went to, um, uh, what store did I go to? I went to Burlington and I just happened to have stumbled on Aunt Jackie's, I didn't know she was this popular. Um, Aunt Jackie's products. So this was a trio. This was in um, a box of All three of them were in a box and you have the shampoo you have the um, detangling um, Therapy one and then you have the leave-in conditioner and these together Work great for my hair. I use this together and my hair is magically soft <laughs> very soft and um one thing i think i am learning is that usually when um a product is recommended to be used with another product it means that they go together and not always the case not always the case sometimes it's just a, uh, a way of getting your money but for these ones i actually think that's the case so this works better when you pair it with one or both of these right so the shampoo is moisturizing and softening and it really is actually softening very very softening and then after i do my shampoo i really do not condition my hair i don't know if that's a bad thing i don't condition my hair well ever since i started using this i never um i used to condition my hair but since using this i don't condition my hair because my hair is extremely soft after using the shampoo so when I'm done with the shampoo, I go in with the, uh, I really do not need the instant um, detangling therapy because I'm not detangling my hair. My hair is in locks. So I don't really have, I don't experience any tangles, but I still use it anyway. <laughs> so I use this, um, the therapy, the detangling therapy, and then I go in with the um, moisture, moisture, more, <laughs> moisture intensive um, leave-in conditioner and these three together are just magical for my hair i do recommend it um on a scale of one to ten i would say nine this is really very good stuff this is really good stuff all right so when i use this three i do not do anything else to the strands of my hair then i focus on my roots and when i do my roots i go in with peppermint oil just on my roots right um if I feel like it just being extra, I will probably just put like a drop or two on my palm, rub it together and just rub it through my hair. But I hardly do that because my hair already is soft. I'm not trying to do anything special to the strands of my hair. I'm more focused on the roots. So I use the peppermint oil for the roots. 
so all of this when I have a wash day right so after my wash day let's say I go in every week just to you know kind of revise my hair make it look a little more live lively and a little more um, soft I would go in with um, this I got this um, um, last year so I started using this last year It's the Jamaican mango and lime lock and set styling lotion so yes it does say um, styling lotion but it doesn't have the consistency of lotion it's more um, watery so I go in with this uh, I don't go in with a spray I go in with um, I take out just a little drop of this into uh, an empty bottle I add a lot of water and then I go in with this as well the olive miracle african pride olive miracle leave-in conditioner i use this as well for um like a weekly basis just to kind of spray it in to soften my hair revive the curls that are on the ends of my hair and that's it and on days that i'm not using this for my roots i use this instead right um this is the virgin hair fertilizer most Nigerians know this. I grew up using this on my hair. This is supposed to be a hair growth um, product, but I don't use it for hair growth. It has a pinch, um, not a pinch. It has a tingling sensation when you use it. And because I grew up using this, it just gave me a little bit of a, uh, uh, what's it called? Just reminded me a little bit of my childhood and I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of have to use it. And each time I smell it, it just reminds me of my childhood. We used this a lot growing up. Um, I'm sure all my African sisters, aunties, well, probably those who are not African as well, know this product. The smell is a little, uh, you know, it's not the nicest smell, but you smell mo uh, more of a peppermint, uh, peppermint, uh, hey, Jesus, oh, sis, Lord. But you smell more of a peppermint in this, and when you use this on your scalp, whoo it tingles and it's a very nice feeling. I use this on my um, scalp uh, from time to time. So I, like I said, I don't do a lot to my hair. That may look like a lot of products, but I alternate. I don't use all of them at the same time. I have what I use for days that I wash my hair and I have what I use for weekly basis just to make sure my curls um, my hair is a little bit um, moisturized and soft and conditioned um, and that's it and there are days I just go in with water because water is just the best and one last thing I want to mention is that the type of water goes a long way if you have um, hard water it definitely would tell on your hair hard water is not good for your hair and I've <laughs> I <I've laughs> oh, gosh let me just say that my locks had a little bit of hiccups down the road because I was using hot water. And I really never paid attention to that until recently I had to get um, a shower filter for my shower, right? And that has changed a lot for me. My shower time, washing my hair, my hair feels a lot better because of the shower filter. So please put that, uh, keep that in mind. If you're using hot water for your hair, it's going to tell on your hair. Your hair is going to feel very stiff and brittle. Your hair will feel um, dry. It will feel like you have flakes or dandruff on your hair. Uh, you may not necessarily have those. It's probably because of the water. So sometimes the water plays a big role with your hair. So that's it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any products to recommend to me, please send them my way. I would gladly, gladly try them out. But yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much again for watching. Please, please, please do not forget to always be kind to one another, to share love and be love. God bless you. Bye.